Right. So good evening, everyone. So I'm Dr. Srinath, the medicine faculty from DAMS. And uh, today I have with me Dr. Anna Jacob. So she's a DM pulmonology score 256 in NEET SS exam. And uh, I would really want to first congratulate her. And uh, I want her to share her experience, her journey of uh, learning, preparing for NEET SS while doing a post-graduation and getting a clinical exposure with all of you. Over to you, Anna. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, to say uh, uh, my uh, uh, preparation for DM pulmonary medicine, uh, uh, it started from November 2020 when I started preparing uh, for my exams, uh, exams which I had to give in uh, May 2021. And um, post exams, uh, uh, we had an extension for the COVID duty. So after that, uh, once I got free from my duties, I started uh, giving a full dedicated approach uh, for uh, to prepare for DM pulmonary medicine. And um, uh, then um, uh, like uh, approximately maybe seven to eight hours a day I used to study. And, um, and then I could, I gave the exam in Jan 10. And there I could score 256, a rank of, um, score of 256 uh, with an expected rank of maybe around 47 uh, for the uh, NEET SS 2021. And um, uh, then to say uh, a major so did mistake. COVID, did COVID have a role in pushing you towards pulmonology? Yes, sir. Of course, COVID uh, made pulmon uh, pulmonary medicine in, in key and brought it into the limelight. Uh, maybe I should say prior to that, uh, many were not aware of this subspeciality, so, uh, a specialty branch as pulmonary medicine. But when COVID came, the demand for pulmonary med uh, medicine increased. And in fact, uh, I should say many uh, UG, uh, PG aspirants also started opting for pulmonary medicine. Yes, that that did. Correct, correct. So then plus it gives you that hands on of bronchoscopy and interventions, which of course probably is one of the future branches. And there is a Brand. high demand and relatively it's not very saturated. Still, it's a you know sort of growing branch. Great. Growing. So yes. So go on about your preparation you wanted. Yeah, you were saying something. Hmm. Ah, yes. So uh, maybe in initially what happened, uh, I actually made a mistake. Initially, uh, I started, I opted for DM cardiology. Uh, I started preparing for DM cardiology, like uh, maybe during my second and uh, initial part of my uh, third year of, uh, um, of my course. So um, uh, that, uh, but my passion was towards pulmonary medicine. Um, solving a puzzle of a chest X-ray and CT chest attracted me a lot more into the subject and the passion in the subject grew. So uh, it was from there on I shifted to, uh, pre uh, shifted to a pulmonary medicine completely, solely to pulmonary medicine. So that was one particular mistake I made, which I would like to point out to others. If you have a passion for something, you have to go behind that as, as fast as it, as early as you could. Correct. So that so is one thing. You want to remain focused from day one. You want to focus on the branch that you would like to pursue further. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, first of all, we should uh, so look for what is our passion. Like uh, maybe a pulmonologist will will be having a passion for cardiology. So just find out what it is rather than going behind uh, what is in the uh, like uh, looking at other environmental factors. Find look at your passion, go behind it, and uh, definitely your passion uh, when you uh, aspire for that. Definitely the universe will conspire with you to achieve it. So uh, so what resources you are you are using to prepare? sort of your college academics were also helpful and generally what other resources could you help for the preparation uh, yes uh, def, uh, because uh, uh, my uh, preparation as such for the um, uh, neat exam was uh, had a uh, that was only for a limited period of time so the uh, what i learned prior to it also helped me like uh, i uh, i tried reading fishman uh, as much as I could, uh, and definitely I should 
they i didn't complete it fully but important parts everything i i, I had learned and uh, whenever i used to attend a patient uh, i used to give my 100% to 100 percentage of my effort along with my limitations so that also helped me for the exam i should say that also added uh, that was also one uh, the basic underlying factor which helped me uh, 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 in my short course of preparation so and also uh, for every pulmonary medicine aspirant the um, uh, the difficult aspect which lie is uh, a cracking general medicine which you are not exposed to three years three years so that was a big hurdle for me too and uh, i um, uh, you definitely need a guidance for that a short span of time it's not uh, possible for you to go for, go to harrison go and read harrison and also uh, all everything so uh, i had uh, i was a damn student during my pg course so i went back to my pg notes pg notes and that definitely helped me that definitely helped me to uh, score my score in my party correct party because see the thing is that as a resident you have got also to do the ward duties and the theoretical ward. touch you need a little guidance it helps you to Guide. basically get back your focus on what is important so yes, was sir. that helpful in that manner uh yes sir of course in, even be it fishman or be it harrison i don't think you need to read from a to z of the textbook correct correct it, streamlined and a guidance definitely is needed uh, you definitely need a guidance to focus on what you what is needed for the exam how you should uh, crack for the exam so uh, only through uh, guidance you can uh, remain streamlined perfect perfect so any other motivational message for your colleagues and juniors who are preparing uh definitely uh it's uh, if you have the passion the intense deep desire uh love for the subject then definitely go for it and uh you will get paid for that uh for your passion that uh definitely your hard work will be uh, um, uh will Rewarded. be paid yes uh, will be rewarded. yes and uh you will definitely get through there's no need to worry or and uh, worry about my, uh, much other things. Yes, but passion is the driving force and yes, then complement it. Yes. Otherwise, there's no point in uh, yes, uh, doing hard work comes. Hard work should feel sweet labor rather than a punishment. Yes. So that Definitely. I think, uh, and then passion, uh, you, you will not uh, consider it. Uh, you will not feel the burden of uh, studying. Yes, rather you to be an enjoyable grade. Great. So all the very best to you and as a future bronchoscopist and pulmonologist. So all the very best and wish you more of success and more accolades in your future career. Right. So thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Right. So here we'll cut off the recording from here. So now we can have a general talk. No problem. And this we can put it on the group. So in Kerala, where are you from? Sir, um, I am from Kolam, sir. Uh, I did my uh, dam scores in Trivandrum. I was a student in uh, Government Medical College, Trivandrum, mm -hmm. so I did Trivandrum. Okay, so Trivandrum has got a hybrid center like that for the dam. Uh, dam yeah. Yes, yes, sir. It started, I think, uh, from two thousand. Uh, 14 or 14, 15. 15. Yeah, 14, 15. Yes. Great, great, great. Lovely. Great. So see you. And sometime if you come to Bombay, definitely meet up or we'll catch up. Okay. Thank you so much. Good night. Thank yes. you so much, sir. Thank you.